Hey, how's it going guys? Phil here, and this is a review for the Panasonic ARC5 Wet-Dry Electric Razor. You'll receive the electric razor in a leatherette zippered case, AC charger, blade oil, cleaning brush, and an instruction manual. Inside the case, the electric razor has a clear plastic protective cap, and it measures 6 inches long, 2 and 3 quarter inches across the head, and about 2 inches thick. I have the matte black version here, and it has gold lettering and trim, but the plastic material doesn't look or feel super premium. There's also a chrome colored version of this shaver, and you can get either style with a cleaning and charging station if you prefer. However, it is pretty lightweight at about 7 ounces, or 200 grams. The shaver head features a 5 blade design, with outer finishing foils, inner lift tech foils for flat laying hair, and central slit blade foil for longer hairs. Squeezing the release buttons on the sides, we can remove the foils for cleaning and servicing the cutting blades beneath. Then to reassemble, you just snap that back into place. As far as the controls, you've just got the power button and then a long LCD screen. On the back, there's a trimmer that can be used by moving the sliding switch up past the headlock function to the trimmer icon, which pops the trimmer out on a curved arm into a horizontal position. Then to retract the trimmers, slide the switch all the way back down. Now, you'll notice that the shaver head has quite a lot of freedom of motion, side to side and front to back, to help guide the blades over the contours of your face. When you push the switch up to lock position, this locks the shaver head so that it stays pretty still if you need to target a specific spot without the head moving around. On the back of the handle is a rubber grip, and you'll notice these three round metal contacts, and those are for the drop-in charging feature if you have the cleaning and charging base. Other than that, the fine ridges on the handle give the unit a nice slip-free grip, whether you're right or left-handed. At the bottom of the handle is the charging port for the proprietary charger. A one hour charge gives you about 45 to 50 minutes of runtime. You can see the red charging indicator here, and the current charge level will be flashing on the LCD. When it's done charging, the LEDs will shut off, but pressing the power button while plugged in will show you the charge level. The shaver cannot be used to shave while plugged in for safety reasons. So like many guys during the past year of quarantining, at one point, I let my facial hair grow out just because social mores were out the window. Also, I was more than a little curious as to how it would turn out, and well, this is it. The Panasonic ARC5 is a wet-dry shaver, so you can use it at the sink or in the shower, and with or without shaving cream. So I think we'll try it both ways and compare the results starting with the right side of my face. Just short press the power button to turn the razor on. I'll first use the trimmers to take my facial hair down to about half a millimeter. For me, that's like a couple days worth of stubble, but that will vary depending on how fast and how thick your facial hair grows in. You can see that despite the length of my hairs being about a centimeter or half an inch, the trimmer doesn't have any difficulty gliding through them in one pass. and we'll finish this side of my face with dry shaving. One of the things I think this razor does well is maneuver around the neck and jawline smoothly without catching or snagging. The blades each make 14,000 cuts per minute, and this helps ensure a comfortable, smooth shave. Now you may have noticed that the vibration sound that the motor produces changes as I'm shaving, and that's because this razor employs a beard density sensor. Basically, it adapts the motor speed based on the density and coarseness of the section of beard that it is trimming. This actually works pretty well on my uneven and patchy beard growth. Alright, let's bring it in for a close-up. And as you can see, even without shaving cream or gel, the result is pretty smooth. A little bit of skin irritation here, but not too bad. Okay, on to the other side. Again, I'll start by taking it down to stubble with the trimmers.
And just so you can see the difference here, this is the side I shaved first, versus the side that's only been trimmed. Now this time we're going to apply some shaving gel, and then start in with the razor. The gel should help you avoid doing multiple passes over the same areas, as well as provide lubrication for making things go a little faster. I'm also rinsing the shaver between strokes. Alright, let me give my face a rinse, and we can compare the results. So this side I shaved dry, and this side I shaved with the cream. For me, the dry side came out with a closer shave that was more consistent, but you can also see that there was more skin irritation here, and I think that's because I simply spent more time making multiple passes to ensure all the hair was shaved off. On the wet side, I used a shaving cream to determine which areas I already covered, but didn't really go over any area more than once. As a result, I had less razor burn for sure, but also I didn't get as close of a shave either. But as someone who prefers dry shaving with an electric razor, maybe I'm just doing it wrong. So I'd be open to hearing any tips and suggestions for wet shaving that you might want to leave me in the comments. The shaver even has a dedicated cleaning mode that you activate by pressing and holding the power button for several seconds. In this sonic vibration cleaning mode, the battery indicators will flash, and there is reduced splashing and foaming if cleaning with liquid soap. After rinsing the shaver out, shake off excess moisture and set it out to dry out of direct sunlight before storing. When traveling, you can also lock the power button so that the shaver doesn't get turned on by accident. To activate the switch lock, short press the power button to turn the shaver on, then long press it for several seconds until the lock icon illuminates. The power button is now locked, and it won't turn the shaver on if pressed accidentally. To disable the lock, press and hold the power button until the shaver activates. Overall, I think the ARC-5 did a good job of giving me a clean, smooth shave. I probably will use it dry most days, especially if I'm shaving every day, but it's nice to know that even if I get a bit lazy, I can take down the growth and get a close shave as well. I hope you enjoyed this review. You can ask me any questions in the comments. I'll put a link to the product in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join me next time.